So today we're actually removing the rear wheel bearing while changing out the rotors and inspecting the brake system. So first thing we need to do is get this wheel off on this 2011 Impala. <clears throat> now the reason we are actually going after this is to inspect your wheel bearing pretty much the easiest way um, besides the howling and stuff that's happened, you can just feel the play. And if it moves without the caliper, which it does, you know, the part that the rotor is attached to, not the knuckle moving, it's the actual wheel bearing super loose. So that's why we gotta repair it. So we're gonna take off this hubcap. Take off the lug nuts. <laughs> if you're having struggles getting the wheel off, just take a big hammer, hit it from the back side of the tire. And you will break that rust ring that holds the hub on. We are actually going to uh, okay, slide this wheel under there. So we need to uh, remove the brake system, hold it up, and uh, get the rotor off. So we're going to start doing that. We're actually going to be loosening up the caliper bracket. A couple 13 mils on the bracket. And slide your caliper bracket off. Okay, well this is a T30 rotor screw. Yeah. Okay, and you can see now that we are down to the bearing, you know, the caliper and rotor is removed, there's four 10 mil bolts um, on the upper and lower side here. You actually have one big hole to get through here. So what you'll need is a 10 mil socket that's long enough to go through or an extension to the one big hole. You'll see there's two little ones, one big one here. And that's how you get this out. And so we're just going to impact these bolts off. Now when you get these bolts off, you might need a big hammer to hit, you know, right on top of it, hit from the side and blast it out of there. Most times these are not that stuck, but some of them can be. And dust shield, make sure you keep track of orientation that goes in. So we're going to clean up this surface here. any scale or anything off the face. This one's actually not too bad to get ready. Alright, so we got all the corrosion cleaned up. We're gonna get a new bearing and get it set in. <clears throat> Something I forgot to show on camera is that there is actually an ABS sensor connected to the back of this. Two little clips, you just pop out to the side and it should pop. Take one of your bolts, push it through the bearing, 
and through the shield at the same time and then insert it. Start threading that one in by hand. And now you got the shield and stuff is gonna stay in place as you do the rest. You kinda don't want to torque one down too tight right away. You want to make sure you're getting the thing in there even. Go. Go back to that top one. Okay, then we want to make sure we torque all these to 55 foot pounds. Good to go. The ABS speed sensor, just make sure it's all the way clicked in, right there next to the knuckle. All right, that's the wheel brain installed.